G'day guys and welcome to me lab. Now this is our seventh lesson in our Wolfenstein 3D Godot 4 tutorial series and in this one we're finally going to get to making some Nazis to shoot at. So let's have a look at our must may might and then we'll get stuck in. So a quick recap, we have all of our weapons and animations set up already. What we're going to be getting up to in this one is creating our first enemy. Why? Well, to make our game fun and challenging. The skills you're going to need is, well, you're going to have to be able to understand and apply how to add scenes, animations, and scripts. But we've done it all before, so I know you'll By the end of this lesson, you'll have enemies in your castle, so you'll be able to wander around, shooting them to your heart's content. Alrighty, so jump into your project if you're not there already. Let's do a little quick refresh so we know where we're up to. So we've got our WASD keys all working beautifully and we can hold down our space bar and spray bullets from our minigun. If we go into our global script we can change what our gun is and all that. We haven't got to uh, picking guns up yet but we have all the mechanics basically there for us um, to at least move forward. So what we're doing now is we're going to add an enemy and that's going to involve us adding an entirely new scene. So let's do that. We haven't done that in a while. The way we do that is we come up to the top here, click on the plus to add a new scene, and then we're going to click on other node. And what we want for the root of this one is going to be a character body 3D. So character body 3D, select that. Then as a child of our character body 3D, we're going to want to add in an animated sprite 3D and a collision shape 3D. So that is a bit of a stack. The collision shape should be a child of the character body, not of the sprite. Okay, so... Collision shape needs an actual shape given to it for it to work. So let's come over here to our uh, nodes and things in our inspector. We've got shape and empty. Let's make it a capsule. Then also let's bring that, oh, I don't want to make it bigger. I want to bring it up so that it is not uh, going to be sitting below the line there. So radius, height of about two meters, makes sense. Position, we want to set that to about one. That should make it on the floor there. That's good. All right, leave the scale like that. Okay, so we've got a collision shape, we've got a character body, but we have not done anything with our animation. And this is where we're getting into now. So you will need to grab the sprites. So if you are in OneNote, you know that the sprites for the guard are right there. If you are doing this online, you might want to go to itch or to GitHub to find what you need. Now, uh, our animated sprite 2D, I've got that selected. We come over to our inspector window over here. We find sprite frames and we click on where it says empty and we can click new sprite frames. And then if you just click on that again, it automatically opens this up for us down the bottom. Easy peasy. So we've got a default um, animation at the moment that has nothing in it. Um, at the moment, we can call that our auto load one and we can leave it on loop. And what we might do is use this as our first one. So let's grab our guard sprite bring it into our file explorer and then we can start on this animation. So I'm just going to go and find my sprite here. So where is that? I've got it here. Da, 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 da. Guard, 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 got PNG, drag it on in. That then gets added like that. So now I can come here into my animation frames, find the little grid, click on that, find the guard, double click. Now we have got uh, five, six, seven horizontal and two vertical for this one. So for our one where it's gonna be our guard walking towards us, which will be our default, we're just gonna grab um, all of those sprites there and click add. So you can see now that it seems to be out of whack in terms of size, right? So we can fix that though. So we've got our animator sprite 2D selected. Let's come over to this side and let's go down and find our geometry and just have a look at what's happening in here. So at the moment, oh, not our geometry, who am I kidding? Let's come down to our transform, sorry. So we wanna get our Y to be um, one as well, but now our scale, I think we can do this up by about four times. So as long as we're on the floor, Oh, we're not, are we? So as long as we're on the floor, we should be right. And that um, collision shape basically covers our guard pretty perfectly. So I'm happy with that. And if we want to see what that um, animation looks like that we made, just click on the play. All right, so I think we need to move, actually get rid of frame zero there because it makes it look like he stopped moving. So let's just delete frame zero and then let's click play. Yeah, that's much better because what we're going to do, the way we're going to set this up is our um, enemies are always going to be moving towards us. So we only need that front on sprite sorted out. So that's our default, which will just be for our dude moving about. We're going to add another one. This one is going to be called uh, shoot. And then we're going to add another one, which will be called die. So for uh, we don't need these to loop. Okay, so with our die one, we'll do that first. Click on our grid, go back to our guard. Horizontal was seven vertical was two and this one was die so we're going to grab these oops these ones here and apply those in five a second that's probably fine let's see how that looks 
yeah, that works really well. So that's our die. And then we need to shoot one. Grid, guard, um, seven, two, and our shoot. We'll just use these two here. Apply. And let's have a look at that one. So if we were to loop it, just so we can see what it looks like if he's shooting at us repeatedly. Yep, excellent. All right, cool. So those are our um, sprites set up for our guards. Let's just save the work we've done. No, we want to call this guard. Um, let me rename the root node so it matches. Guard. Okay, so our guard is now saved in terms of the collision shape and the sprites. But that is not all. We need a script for this dude as well. So let's... Uh, have our root node selected and then let's click on the little uh, plus here to add a script happy for it to be called guard let's create that okay we're actually gonna do a massive overhaul here so i'm gonna delete all of that i'm gonna grab all the man i'm gonna paste that in and then we're gonna talk about it all right so i might have uh, got something slightly different so we just have to go through and make sure we're we're all on track so one of the first things i need to remember is i've set up this on ready um variable for the player where we're making sure that um we're getting the player from the um the player group so i just want to make sure i've added our player to that group so i haven't so let's add in here our so the first thing we're doing i should explain it as i go first thing i'm going to do is add in a function um ready to our player script and in there i'm going to go add to group and then that group is going to be called player and that's it that's all i want to do in there save the uh the player script and go back to our guard script so now what's happening here this on ready variable called player is grabbing the character body 3d from this particular string so we're going to grab the first node in the group player which happens to be the uh, the player sprite that we're just playing with Okay, so next we've got our speed, we understand that. Gravity, we understand. All right, a couple of variables. We've got our dead variable set to false, and we've got an is attacking variable also set to false at the moment. Um, don't need some of these comments I've got here, really, do we? Now, we've got an attack range of five, and what this is going to be is when is our guard going to take out the gun and shoot, basically? So attack range is five. Now, our ready function adds that guy to adds the guard to the group enemy, just like we did in our player a moment ago for the other way around. Okay, so we've got our new variables. We've now got this ready function, which is to add our enemy to our group. Now, in our physics process function, we want to say if it is dead or attacking, just return. We don't want to doing anything else if it's already doing those things. Now, if there is no player, we also want to return because nothing's happening, right? Down here, so our var direction, we want to grab our player global position minus global position. So that's sort of making it so they're going towards each other, okay? Our direction y is zero, we don't want to vary that, and we want to make our direction normalized so that it's a smoother path. So we want to basically find out where our player is, work out where we are, and cancel the distance between them. Our velocity is going to be that direction we've chosen at the speed we've set up here. So if you think they're too fast or slow, you can change it up there. We um, need to make sure we handle our gravity. So if it's not on the floor, bring it down. There shouldn't be a situation where that happens, but we've got it in there anyway. Move and slide. And then we want to um, just run this attack every um, every process function. So every frame, sorry. And what our attack is, is saying, well, look, if our distance to player, so global position, distance to player, um, global position, if that is um greater than our attack range then we don't want to do anything different basically keep walking towards the player um, otherwise so if it is um the if the attack range and the distance to player are um, within one another then we want to set is attacking to true we want to play the shoot animation and we want to await that to finish and then set is attacking to false. So this is our attack function. We just run it every um, every physics process tick basically here, and it'll just work out whether it's in range or not. And then we've got a die function as well. So die, we change dead to equal true. We play the die animation, and we also disable our collision shape. And the reason we're doing that is so that we can walk over them and not have to think about it. So once we've shot them and they're dead, we can walk through them. So I think that's probably the bulk of it. I'm gonna save that and then we'll give it a quick, uh, a quick test, I think. I don't know why I'll give it a test before I've even added our guard to the actual game. So let's do that. We've saved everything multiple times. Let's go to our world scene. Let's grab our 3D view. So here it is here at the moment. Um, I can't remember which way our player is normally facing. Uh, I'm sure there's a hotkey for that, which slips my mind at the moment. Anyway, what we want to do is we want to find our guard scene that we've made. So it should be, oh, it's, it's above my head. Hang on. Let me do, it's there. Uh, we want to grab our guard.scene, which we've been playing around with, and just drag that in and drop it in our scene. Let's go down and have a look. 
Yeah, okay, I'm down with this. Um, there's another thing actually I've just remembered we need to do if this is going to work well. So let's go back to our guard scene. Whew, I'm glad I remember this. Click on our animated sprite and come across here to where you see flags in the inspector. So just to recap, I've gone back to my guard scene. I've clicked on the animated sprite node. I've come across to the inspector and there is flags. So what I want to do here in flags is find where it says billboard. Turn that from disabled to Y billboard. Okay, so billboard is now set to Y billboard. Save that. Now we can go back to our world and let's add one or two more of these dudes in. And what should end up happening is they should um, all sort of look at me and walk towards me. That's the general guy. Oh, I've just seen my camera, so I'm actually facing all of these guys in the wrong way. That's okay. Um, let's scroll back a bit. Oops. Let's move some of them. Oops. I can't even grab them now. And let's move some of them into the right spot. Roughly. I'm getting the um, height of these massively wrong. Go over there somewhere. Look at this guy, he's just hovering. I mean, the gravity function would bring them down to Earth, I suppose. I'm just so bad in a 3D space, guys, honestly. You guys that grew up with nothing but 3D games, you're blessed. You're so much better at this sort of stuff than me. I, I still struggle with anything that isn't Mario. All right. A bit there, a bit there ish. Okay. Now, that is done. Let's save that and let's uh, play the game and see if they're there. So hit play. Hey, look, and he's shooting at me too. I can shoot at him, but of course nothing happens. And as I turn around, you see that they're all looking at me and they're all trying to move towards me. So that is working a treat now. That is fantastic. So now what we've got, we're going to tweak this a little bit because um, it's not really all that smooth yet, but I wanted to make sure we get it in there. So you're going to have to remember a lot there, and I reckon you're going to want to play through this a few times just to make sure you get it right. But there's some deal, um, some stuff to do in the script. There's some stuff to do um, in your scene. We need to remember to do that flag with the uh, billboard because that makes them face us and stuff as well. But we've got through an awful lot, so I think that's where we're going to stop it. Um, let's look at our must may might, and in our next one, we will make sure we can kill those Nazis. So let's look at our must may might. What you must get done is get that enemy scene script and animations all set up. You may like to make some other enemies. You can use the same sprite, but make it a whole new enemy scene and just change the color of the sprite with a modulate or something. What you might like to do is start thinking about how we will get the... Um, the player firing to actually interact with our enemy. How will we shoot and kill our enemy? So that's what we're going to get up to in our next one. So start thinking about that now. So to debrief, you now have a castle with enemies and you can shoot at them. Next time will be all about how we can damage our enemy. So we're going to use a thing called a ray cast. So you might want to read up on that ahead of time. And the quote I'd like to leave you with this time is from Omar Khayyam. And he once said, be happy for this moment. This moment is your life. Thanks very much, guys, and I will see you next time.